Welcome to a new Selfish OS podcast and a new month for a new Selfish OS release. This time around it's Hossa, a version 303 that is available now for everyone and it comes with uh, plenty of new features just like for example for your Sony Xperia X or XA2 device there is a new NFC option available under settings that allows you to simply uh, use NFC tags in this case. So let me go to NFC. That, as you can see here, allows you to scan for NFC tags and so on, which is a nice feature. And so you can just simply, if I had an NFC tag just like this one, I can hold it here and it will open up a pop up allowing me to open an URL or something like this. And it's mainly used for these simple tags for now. But you have the option, of course, as a developer to use this NFC tech uh, field communication stuff as well and the framework around it for other things as well. So very nice addition to the new update. Of course, under the hood, many, many changes. Updated glibc, which allows to install and bring new applications into the system itself. Just like, for example, the browser has been updated to a uh, Gecko version 45 which isn't the newest version, but it is more recent and more recent LTS long-term support version than the version um, it was before, which is version 38. And as you can see here, this is the browser. You uh, can still scroll through very nice and have um, better support for newer websites. Just like, for example, let me go to um, About Mozilla here. And yeah, this works. So this is really the uh, new version of the browser. And uh, yeah, it comes with Selfish OS, a very nice addition. There are still some bugs, just like for example, I need to, when I have a website which is, which, which is an error message, a 4.4 .4 error message. Uh, let me go to this one here before that I had before. Sometimes uh, the bar on the bottom disappears and I cannot bring it back, which is a shame. Um, there are some other issues, just like not all websites are, of course, uh, supported still with this new version. There are um, there is a brighter support when it comes to websites and, and this new version, but not all the websites will work with this uh, new version. But when it comes to fixed bugs, I think they did a good job also updating and fixing bugs uh, for the XA2 specifically. So if you're uh, really, really um, waiting for the XA2 to become uh, finally a version, uh, a smartphone that you can use in your everyday life, it is now more and more possible than uh, before because now the proximity bug that has been uh, there before which just simply did not turn the screen off if you hold it on your ear because um, yeah the proximity sensor had a bug is now fixed and also the wireless LAN Wi-Fi draining bug is fixed so you don't have a uh, battery draining issue on the XA2 at least I don't have a battery draining issue on the XA2 anymore and some other bugs have been fixed for the XA2 and some other features have been implemented uh, to the operating system itself, just like, for example, a better encryption support, better encryption um, uh, fixes when it comes to encrypting your data, uh, just like if you want to encrypt your files and folders, your personal data, this is new, no issue anymore on this version. And I'm reading some other things that have been updated, just like for example, Pulse Audio Support is updated to version 12.2, which allows to better seemingly um, transfer music over Bluetooth and listen into music over Bluetooth, which is also a nice thing, nice addition. So less stutter when it comes to Bluetooth uh, playback uh, with this new version of Pulse Audio. And uh, some other things regarding the Android support on the XA2. So, the mobile SIM card can be now used either SIM2 or SIM1 for the dual SIM um, uh, XA2 versions uh, that can be used with data without any issues. So data can be used on the Android support without any issue. And um, files that you add to your device will automatically 
not only appear in the CFHS side, in the tracker, in the in the database for files and folders and and, and uh, documents, but also on the Android side as well. Very quick. Uh, UI notifications, you won't be nagged by Android uh, notifications anymore that ask you about uh, battery drainage or something like this. So this has been fixed. And uh, system UI notifications are now handled by Selfish itself. And notifications um, handling is now improved with um, new notifications that will be received and they will not end up as a group notification anymore, which is also nice. Also a bug that has been fixed, if you SSH into your file system and edit something on the Android side of things, uh, the Android Alien Dalvik engine will not crash anymore, which is also, I think, a very important uh, thing when it comes to uh, these kinds of things. Now I was talking about the XA2, which has been updated uh, pretty much very good, but also the XA, uh, the X Safish Xperia, Sony Safish Xperia X device, if I can grab it from behind my laptop, um, also received the update, of course, and has nice improvements as well, just like, for example, it also has the option to read NFC tags. So we go to settings here, uh, where do I have the NFC thingy? Oh, I don't have the NFC thingy. Interesting. I thought it would be here as well. So only the XX2 has the NFC thing. Uh, I don't see it on the X, which is interesting because it should be supported as well as the X also has NFC here on the front in this case. Uh, no NFC support for the X, um, unfortunately, uh, as it looks like. Um, but the new browser engine is there and all the tweaks and updated GCC version and uh, glibc version are there and other things that prepare for a bigger version update uh, coming in the next month. And of course uh, not only the Sony Xperia X and XA2 uh, got the update but all the other devices just like my Yola tablet for example, my uh, Yola One phone have been has been updated, uh, the Yola C has been updated uh, all those phones are supporting the new version 3.0.3. Yeah, this is pretty much yeah, the summary of all the biggest changes in the new Surface OS version 3.0.3. I hope you enjoyed this little video. If you have some questions, you can ask in the comments section. Of course, you can give it a thumbs up, like the video and describe, subscribe if you want to. Uh, learn a bit more about Selfish S. I hope that the next big update 3.0, uh, 3.1 will be including also Qt, the new Qt version, uh, maybe Qt Web Engine even, and some other nice improvements of, for Selfish S and the software in Selfish S. Otherwise, this is a uh, must have updated for your Selfish S devices, it runs very smoothly, runs very fine. I can uh, recommend you to reading the article I will link to, which will summarize all the stuff all the good new stuff in Selfish S uh, 303 and of course there's a big big change log for those who uh, would like to read the change log for the certain um, uh, files and applications and packages that have been updated. Hope you enjoyed this little video and until the next time, bye!